Greetings everybody, your Kong of Games Online. Welcome back to more Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest. In the last episode, we got through Crazy Kremland and, and we made it to Gloomy Gulch. And in this episode, we're going to start off with Ghostly Grove. Let's get this started. Alright, this is kind of eerie. And here's the gimmick of this stage. We have these ropes that disappear and reappear. How it works, I'm not a scientist, so don't ask me. Coin! That is clearly a good idea. Well, it worked out. Alright, well... I've been able to keep a decent trend going of... Uh, killing one... Taking down one boss per episode. I'm not going to be able to keep that trend anymore because in order to keep that trend I will have to beat this entire world in one episode now, as I recall correctly yep very well hidden DK coin thank you because it really blends in I'm not gonna lie really blends in Which, to a degree is nice because it I completely screw that up didn't I I might be able to still do this do that! Alright. There is a hidden area there, so uh, we have another find the token. Which we have to toss this barrel at the zinger over and 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 done. Not that difficult, once again, but most things in this game aren't that difficult. I'm just bad at the game! Hence, I just died there! <laughs> oops. That's that's all I have to say is oops. Great, great excuse me. I am just on the ball today. <laughs> In case you guys don't know, this is the same uh, recording... This is the third video I'm recording for this game, so... Or at least in this session. So, if you're not keeping track... This is the same session where I uh, recorded that video of where I played Bramble Blast and I screwed it up to hell and back. So, <laughs> needless to say, there's probably going to be a decent uh, amount of failure still. Because I'm apparently just having an off day today. Alright. Well, hopefully we can... Still not screw this up. Is not gonna lie. Ah shoot. Bonus barrel right there. I'm not gonna lie, the there is a stage here that I will have troubles with, pretty much guaranteed. Because well you'll see the stage when we get to that. Well actually there's two stages I have in mind, which is I believe I think it's the third stage and the fifth stage of this world. I could be wrong on that though. In fact, I wouldn't be entirely surprised if I was wrong. Suspicious ring there, it contains the G. In any case, we are almost at the end of this stage. Just go across here. There's a coin there if you're willing to risk it, but I am not. I'm just gonna finish up with the stage, not even care about what my ending prize was and let's move on to the next stage haunted hall all right this stage it's a pretty nice stage actually a lot of the roller coaster stages are pretty good the way this stage works is uh, you need to hit those plus barrels to give yourself more time. If you run out of time, this ghost chasing us by the name of Cackle will... Uh, <coughs> well, let's just say he's not going to do nice things to you. There are two bonus barrels here, so let's make sure to pick those up. Also, you might notice there are minus barrels. As you would expect, they lower the time that you have, so do be careful. The way this stage works is we need to do this. Pretty creative stage, in my opinion. And what's funny is, you back out, right into another bonus area. 
Collect the stars. I'm pretty sure this is one of those stages where there's more stars than necessary. You just need to try to collect as many as you can and hope that's enough. Which, fortunately, is not that difficult. As you would probably guess. Get these stars. And done. Like I guess that's not that difficult, and we have another two creme coins. So now we have another cackle after us. Boom, boom, boom. Five, four, three, grab that. Screw up! Dang it. Let us try that again, hopefully without the failure. Currently, well, currently I see myself in this episode getting through three, maybe four stages. Actually, because we're about the six minute mark, it might be four stages because, well, I mean, the next stage is probably going to give me trouble no matter what I do, but stage after that isn't quite as bad. It's still pretty tough, but it's not quite as bad. Alright, let's do this part again, because it was so exciting to watch the first time, which means I will inve inevitably screw up somewhere. It was get the coin, jump, grab the plus barrel, grab that plus barrel, grab that plus barrel, get through here, checkpoint. Alright, there are cackle chasing after this. This time, every single barrel is a minus barrel. So you basically have to dodge as many of them as possible. You can hit one or two and, sh and still be okay. In fact, they just hit one. But if you hit more than two, I'd say you're probably going to take a hit. Because, ah, dang it. So, uh, I'm just going to kill myself now. So if you didn't notice, that was a bonus area. And I kind of hate that bonus area. Not going to lie. I hate that bonus area. So, what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to make a jump that is at the exact height and at the exact height so that we can go into that bonus barrel. Or the bonus area, I guess it's not so much a barrel. Problem is, that bonus area is also pretty difficult within itself. Which, let's see if... Alright. So, hopefully you're good at very nice. Hopefully you're good at timing jumps. Because this ride moves very fast. And you have... And... Yeah, you can see what's going on. Alright, we got it. One of the more difficult bonus barrels in this game. So be ready. Moving on, though. Now, for the most part, they're going to put the plus and minus barrels right next to each other. So you have to try to get the plus barrel while avoiding the minus barrel. Oh, well, oh, I might be able to avoid taking a hit even still. Alright, we should be back in the game. Ah, oh, shoot. Wow. I clearly know how to play this game, you can tell. Let's try this again. We have the bonus barrel out of the way, so we just need to beat the stage. Well, I guess we need to get the DK coin, but that's right at the end of the stage, so it's not my biggest concern. Which, now I've said that, you know what's going to happen? I'm going to get to the end of the stage, I'm going to finish the stage, and forget to get the DK coin. It's going to happen. Mark my words on that. I'm not going to try to make it happen, though. Oops. Alright. Alright, let's try this again. Because it went so smoothly the first time. Dodge that. Grab that. Grab that. Go, uh, jump. Jump, 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 jump. Got it! That's the end of the stage, too. So. DK coin. Okay, well, at least I didn't forget it. At least I didn't forget it. That would have been very stupid on my part. Fortunately, I remembered it. Yay me. 
Alright, this stage is gonna give me problems for me, no matter what I do. Gusty Glade. First off, I don't have a Kong. Oh. Yeah, that's the gimmick of this stage, is you have the wind, and it's not fun. It's not fun at all. Ah, great. So, normally you would be able to get get over there, and you can get Radley as an animal buddy, which I might have another chance of getting him, because I screw that up. Which... Ugh. I'm... It's pretty good. In order for me to actually make the... For those who don't know... Well, I guess I can say this now. The bonus video for this game is going to be on the Game Boy Advance version, because I actually do own that version. And there's two new collectibles in the Game Boy Advance version that I'm going to be covering. Which, for that reason, I'm going to have to replay through the game. And it's going to suck. I can speedrun this game decently, though, if I'm having a good day. I think my record for being this entire game 101% with maxed out lives and all the minigames being everything, like maxed out coins and everything like that on the Game Boy Advance version is about 2 hours. Which granted, people probably had beaten that time under those same circumstances, but I still consider that a pretty good time. I do believe that was a no death run, but anyways, enough talking about that. We'll talk more about that when it becomes relevant for now. We have wind that is going to screw me up somehow. So this part, okay, I'm gonna get very close to the edge, so that way that happens. It's not the easiest thing to do. We have to find the token, which, ooh, the wind is, well, I guess that works. <laughs> I could just skip half of this stage. If you manage to get Radley all the way to the end, you do get a 3-up, which I missed. I'm I'm just really good at this, you can tell. Alright, let's keep going. This part is... well, it's a bit annoying. I broke the wrong run. Great. I might as well just kill myself, because... So I... Uh, Alright. Also, considering the time, we might be able to do a fourth stage. We're not going to be able to do the fifth stage, I'm pretty sure. Alright. We need this. We need to run over here, and yep, cannon. Collect the stars, and if this is the one I'm thinking of... Uh, no it's not, I'm thinking of a different one. Don't mind me. Fortunately, the wind will not be getting in our way this time. So, we can just freely collect the stars. There we go. Alright, moving on. Oh, I completely forgot about this part. You need to time it so the wind is going with you. Otherwise, you will not be able to make the jump. And actually, did I, did I even get the DK coin, or is am I just being dumb again? I would be surprised if I'm being dumb again. Oh, actually, I think. In... Yes, DK coin is right there. I can just blaze straight on through, and we are out of here. And we do have the Kong College, so I might as well show off the area gar guardian. You know about the different color minions to gain the necessary objects to fight the ghost of Crow. All right, with that done, let's move on to happier times with Parrot Shoot Panic. Be ready to get the DK coin right away because right here is the DK coin. But here we have a different colored Squawks. I do believe he has an unofficial name, but I don't remember off the top of my head. The way he works, though, is... He is basically a parachute. Uh, he cannot fire seeds, and he cannot fly up. He can only go down. He is... A lot better in the third game, where... 
I assume it's the same same pair because well it's the same color. But in the third game he can still fly and although he can't shoot seeds, he can still pick up barrels, which can be quite as useful. For here though, yeah, they hide things. But how do we get off him? You hit the X button. Alright, find the token. Oh yes, green squawks. It feels so good to see him. Because he can actually fly! But yeah, it, it's just such a breath of fresh air. Being able to see squawks. Alright. Okay, we need to be close to the checkpoint. Down here there are... Or, well, there's two paths. And one of them, as usually, one contains something that's eh. The other one will contain something much better. And, yeah, like I thought, the checkpoint was there. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. Let's go down here. Fortunately, we can adjust the speed of how quickly the squawks knockoff will go down these chutes. I really can't remember what his name was. Eh, someone will probably correct me. Someone will probably inform me. Alright, destroy them all. I kind of like this stage because of what they do at the end of the stage. For now, it's just beat the crap out of them. And then I like this. You're given a TNT barrel, which you use to destroy the last one. That's pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright. That should be all the bonus barrels. And that should be, uh, yeah, we have the DK coin, that should be all the bonus barrels, so all we need to do is beat the stage. This is a bit risky, but we can get two coins, which is, well, very nice. Dodge. Drop down. Kill you. Alright, now we can go down here. We must use our dodging maneuver skills. And we drop from one squawks to another. Ow. Don't you dare screw this up me. I think we're like right near the end. Alright. Go straight down. Go straight down. Now they start flying around. But it's still not that bad. Dodge these guys, and that should be the end of the stage. Drop down. Pin hook there. Alright. Well, I think I'm gonna actually let this video go on a bit longer, because I would kind of hate to have a shorter video than usual. So, actually, Swanky's bonus banana might... Or bonus banana, bonus bonanza might put us about up to time. What is the name of the area of this island? That would be Gloomy Gulch. I mean, a little wasp did the end of area giant wasp break up into. Five. What is the name of the trendy surfing Kong who operates the barrel flights? That would be Funky. Haunted Hall. What is the name of the forest level with the blowing wind in it? That would be Gusty Glide. Ugh, the horrors. Crumbling island map. How many small wasps have? Oh god. Three? Okay, good. Was there the Crumbling Island that we are now on? That would be Crocodile Isle. And finally, Gibbon Game. So this is not the name of an area of an island you play. We play Crocodile. Okay, so Crocodile Canyon. Swordfish by name. On guard. Oh come on, really? One? Okay, so it's probably two then. Yeah, they get to be total jerks with these questions. Alright, is it two then? Yeah, that's what I thought. It, would, it wouldn't make much sense for it to be zero. <sighs> we are almost done with this world though, so uh, assuming I don't play like crap for these next few episodes, I might be able to keep up the trend of one boss per world. Uh, we will see, because we are probably more than halfway done with this game. Because there are eight worlds in total, and we're currently on World 5, almost done with it, moving on to World 6. 
and World 7 is, well, it's very short. Let's just say that. And World 8 is not going to end well at all. I'm going to uh, state that right now. But we'll get into that when we get into that. Next time, though, on Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest, we will be opening up with Web Woods. And we will be finishing up with Gloomy Gulch. See you guys then!